City woman is facing jail time if she doesn't clean up her house. She's had run-ins with code enforcement for close to two decades. Despite her daughter and city leaders stepping in to help, they say Kathy Lambert cannot get the care she needs. Our Jacqueline Iglesias is covering Pasco County for us tonight. Good evening, Jacqueline. This is Kathy Lambert's home. You can see all of the items stacked up here in her garage. The trees and shrubs, all of them overgrown. But Kathy says she doesn't want to live like this anymore and wants help. What is this about, about jail, you know, because it doesn't seem right. Kathy Lambert tells us she has obsessive compulsive disorder, an anxiety disorder that's led her to become a compulsive hoarder. I do gather things and, and it, what people call the collection of stuff, they call it a hoard. Neighbors began lodging complaints with city code enforcement about overgrown bushes and trash accumulating in Lambert's yard more than two decades ago. You can see oxide imaging inside and it stink. She pulled trash and everything, and you know, maybe one day, uh, maybe I find him dead. City leaders have come and helped clean up the Howard Avenue home, even contacting multiple mental health organizations to help Lambert, according to the city attorney. But Lambert still failed to keep the property clean and was taken to court last year. Now, a judge wants her jailed. When you have all this stuff, it is actually exhausting to have to go through it and decide what's good enough to give away to somebody, what's good enough to keep. Lambert has sought out psychological help, but says her Medicaid won't cover a counselor to come to her house, the standard approach to treating hoarding. Now, out of desperation, her daughter is starting this digital campaign on GoFundMe to help her mother clean up and get an on-site counselor. Bottom line is, Kathy, you don't want to live like this. You want help. Yes, I like the kind of help that doesn't report you as a vulnerable adult, but will coach you. You can see Kathy's doing all that she can to clean up her property. The reason she came forward to tell her story along with the city attorney and her daughter is because she says she wants someone, maybe a counselor, who hears this to come out here and help her. In Dade City, Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News. Developing tonight, there are now two